Hi everyone, it's Sandra from Midwest Charm. I know it's been forever since I have recorded a video. I actually had recorded one in the beginning of December that was a DIY for some um, stuffed Christmas trees that I made for some shows I was doing. And I got really sick and was never able to post it. So I have that, maybe I'll post it down the road. It doesn't really apply so much to winter I guess it's more of a Christmas tree type thing but I do have that and I am back I have gone through two illnesses since my surgery and I did some shows and it's been chaos and then obviously the holidays so here we are I have the biggest haul video that I have done I think ever other than the like yard sale days from Cambridge that we did or um I don't remember if I recorded a video I did when we went to another picker's house and um their yard sale otherwise this is like goodwill only and it was so much fun and I have so many great things and I can't wait to share them so let's just jump right in first things first I have a little spindly table leg it's got to be vintage it's over there but I'm going to put it up here or here. Um, that is going to actually get some milk paint on it. And so we've got all the chippiness and then I'm going to restain the top. I'm really excited to do that piece. It's simple, but it's the perfect height. It's the perfect size. It could be used as a desk. It could be used as, um, it's the same height as my Hoosier cabinet tabletop part is. It's the same height. It's beautiful. And then I also have a bar stool as well that we picked up that already has a stain top and it's painted on the bottom. I think I'm going to distress it up and see if I can distress it and just flip it like that. Um, otherwise, I'll just do a new paint job. I know it needs a little bit of um, sturdying up too, so I'm going to get that done, but I'll post a picture of that up in one of these corners as well. And then um, Katie actually got her own apartment. So what you're seeing here does not include any of the fun, amazing stuff we found for her, um, which was a lot as well. And you're noticing weird shadows. It is winter here in Minnesota and it's freezing cold. So I have overhead lights on and we do have one, the door open or the blinds open in the living room through the door, which is doing the shadow here. Um, and my boys are walking by it too. So... Um, yeah, it's really cool. Anyways, let's jump into the rest of this haul. We did get some stuff at Target as well. Um, and I might show those too. Moving some Christmas stuff that didn't get put away yet. So first up is this cute clock. I have a really, I have really good luck selling clocks at the store. Um, this was a $6.99. It opens up. I have not even tested it yet. But you can get clock mechanisms decently cheap. Um, we'll see. Otherwise, it's just a really cute faux clock with storage. It's adorable. I love this. <clears throat> Next up, this is, looks like it's from like Hobby Lobby or Joann's. This is from Joann's. Um, I can't tell if this is the original Joann paint or not. I am debating on whether I'm just going to clean this up or if I'm going to repaint it. It was $3.99. I did not have any coupons and I didn't even care because we came across so much stuff and there was one store we walked into and by minutes we missed something I've been looking for and haven't been able to find so I was a little bummed but uh, this little hook was not priced we paid 99 cents for it um I don't know if I'm gonna screw this into another board if I'm gonna paint it I haven't decided yet but I love me some hooks. We have been on an organizational kind of kick here. Um, we bought our house a little over a year ago and I had just had bone graft surgery. And then at the beginning of October of this past year, I had another surgery. So it was actually my third one on my arm. So I haven't really been able to do some of the stuff we wanted to do. I didn't really get to set up my craft room or things like that. So I've used it. It's there. It just everything kind of needs organized and needs places and that's what we're working on so <clears throat> hooks that's where I was going with this hooks baskets all the rage right now for me um next up this is a pottery barn teen drawer 
two drawers. Um, I will paint this up and get that done into probably um, a sea glass color or I don't even know. This beast, the shelf sitter, will get, oh, that the Pottery Barn thing was $6.99. This shelf sitter, I'm going to probably repaint this black because there is some scratches and chips out of it. And this top will get painted as well. I paid $5.99 for that. <coughs> um, part of our Target haul, I did a bunch of these up. I'll see if I have pictures, and if I do, I'll put them up above. Um, but we did a bunch of these up for Christmas for the shows I did. Um, put filler in the bottom and then put something in the top of them. Um, actually, the best sellers that I had were either the old Jingle Bells, um, just set in them with multiples that look kind of full like a gumball machine, or the mini bottle brush trees. Um, those were actually my best sellers for that style of thing. I picked up three of those. I don't even know if they were on clearance because I think Katie paid for that store because um, we had it all in one cart. And then I've got two little jars with wood lids. These are for my personal usage. I don't know where I'm putting them. They were three bucks a piece. And then over here, you know, I love anything with these little drawers. This one hangs on the wall. It was, it had two stickers. Sorry about that. It had two stickers on the back, one for $8.99 and one for $5.99. And when I went up there, I asked about it, and the guy said he'll give it to me for the cheaper price, but the cheaper price was half peeled off. But so was the $8.99. Um, but I did get it for $5.99, and those sell super well. Um, not sure what color I'm going to do that in yet. I love doing those, though. Next up, we have... I'm trying to reach across the table. And some breadboards. So this one, I will throw, uh, wrap some juju around the handle part and then um, put a stamp on this. I've done that before. I don't know if I've done it in a video or not. This one was $3.99. This thicker one here was also $3.99. This one I will probably, Crack goes all the way, so I'm not going to keep this a usable one. I will go ahead and sand it smoother, um, probably put a darker stain on it, and possibly like a whitewash and distress it, and then put a stamp or a transfer on that. Things crash. Okay. Next up, we bought these three crates. They're all three the same, but there's three different sizes, and they all have the number 750 on them. This one was $3.99, $4.99, and $5.99 for each size. I, again, don't know if I'm going to do anything to those or leave those as is. I haven't decided. We have this, I don't know if this is a, for a book, because it does not have the hanging hardware on this one. Or if it's just a corbel shelf sitter, um, it does have felt feet on the bottom. But this will get, most likely will get painted and distressed. That was $8.99. I paid a little more than I typically would for something like that. But I think it, the size and the chunkiness of it was pretty good. This pot, not sure. This is modern. This is not old. Oh, it was $4.99. I actually do really well selling croc style items. Um, this will get a transfer or a stamp on the front of this and then put into the store. <clears throat> and so I got two of these corbels that are ready to be hung on the wall. They're two different sizes. One was $3.99 and the little one was $1.99. I will stain these nice and dark paint over the top and distress back or use a chippy paint to make them look all old and amazing. A little mini tiered tray. This kind of needs straightened up a little bit. The top part's bent a little bit. It was $1.99 and you know tiered trays are all the rage. They are so much fun to decorate. I can't see mine right now but I do have one on the table that's got gnomes and coffee stuff on it. Uh, this little pedestal was $4.99. This will get painted and distressed, possibly again, chippy paint. Not sure. It looks like this could have possibly been part of a tiered tray as well. And 
I'm not sure if I'm going to fill that in. Um, most likely I'll fill it in and sand it down and nice and smooth. <clears throat> and this plate stand was $6.99. Um, I'm actually going to probably, it's like a rubbed bronze color right now. I will probably actually paint this black, I'm thinking, and use it, um, style it as a tiered tray or put items on that for sale at like a show, use it for like a display item. Um, two things that are actually for us and most of the stuff for me, I tend to pull out, but there usually is a few. Todd found these at the very end. Just some Christmas cups. I love the movie Elf. I love all Christmas movies, but I love the movie Elf. So these are gonna go in with our Christmas goodies. <clears throat> Next up, we have this metal tin. It's got some great texture on it. Um, it's already got the stuff to hang on the wall. It was $3.99. This will get painted and distressed back to show all that lovely texture. And then, oh, this little can. Um, it needs washed up. It's gross. It was $4.99. And I think the only reason it was $4.99 is because the sticker is still on there from Michael's or... Hobby Lobby, whichever one it is. I can't think of which one that brand is off the top of my head. But again, I do really well when I take the stamps or uh, transfer and put on the front of this, stick some greenery or florals in there and sell that. It'll be a quick, easy flip. And then next, I've got this bird. I am totally prepping for spring. I've got some shows coming up for spring. So all the birds will be coming to me. Um, this was $2.99, a little bit more than I like to pay for these, but this one is a bigger one. It will look super great painted and distressed back. And on that same note, I have two of these stone fish. They were $2.99 each. They do have, they must have been on something to hold them up because they do have holes in them for like a stand or something. I'll fill those up, get these painted. I actually, whenever I've put fish stuff in the store, it's sold really well. So whether this goes to the store or to a show with me, either way, um, they do look like they're terracotta. You can kind of see a little lip of a fish there. I actually really, really love these. <laughs> I don't know why but I think they're super cute. So those will get refinished. Um, I'm gonna show you this basket list. I told you all about the baskets and the cuteness. I just loved the style, the bamboo handles. It was $5.99. It's in great condition. I probably won't even do anything to this one. Um, just style it up and resell it. So then I got this really cool, <clears throat> Like, sometimes, you know how they do the, the bags of stuff? I don't always look at them, and I really should. And I don't even remember what aisle I found this in. But basically, a bag full of parts from old dressers, um, little pediment pieces, and um, finials. There's a whole bunch of these. So what I'm going to do with these is paint them and distress them back. And then grab one of my other items because that's what I'm going to display them in I think is what I'm going to do the bag of goodies was $5.99 um when I price these I will probably price each one of these little things individually they are all antique and very vintage but most of them are antique so I'll probably price each one at about four four to five dollars for each thing and then put them in this trifle bowl, which was $4.99. And we just have all these really cool antique pieces. I'm telling you, there's flowers and I don't know where that one just went. I just think this would be really cool. I got there's like little staples in some of these pieces like this one. Other one rolled pretty good. I will find it later. 
but if they're all different shades of the same color, I think they'd be so cute. So those I love, I absolutely love. I found this, I'm sure this was a candle votive type thing. If not, I'm gonna actually be styling it as a cloche. It was $3.99. I don't know if I have a tray here or not that'll fit for it. I haven't decided how I'm gonna totally style that up, but we have that. This Katie actually bought for me when she paid for some of her stuff. It's an old uh, Marshall Pottery. And this one was actually in their like locked thing. It was $14.99. But I love the old Crocs with the navy stripes in them. I've got our blue even, not even not necessarily navy. I've got them in my dining room here, so. Um, let me grab. I have this sitting on something and I don't wanna. So next up is a little bar stool, or step stool, I mean. Just a simple little one. It was $4.99. Um, I love painting those up, putting stripes on them, um, something along that line. But that'll happen with those or with that. I have two of these massive, massive, massive candle holders. They were both $4.99 each. They're two different sizes. Woo! The top on this one, the second one actually needs to be adjusted because you can see it's kind of wonky. But $4.99 each. These will get spray painted black, possibly another color over the top. Um, we were having fun with those in the store because they're very much weapon grade. Um, can be used to combat all sorts of fun stuff. I'm gonna move the camera just a little and reach over and grab more. I'm telling you guys, there was so much stuff, and this does not include the goodies Catherine bought. So I'm trying to move this and like finagle because I saw like a handful of items over there too. And I don't want anything to break. So. Let's see. All right, next up is another candlestick. This was $2.99. I just have a hard time finding decently priced candlesticks anymore. This will most likely get paint over the top and distress back to show the details on that. <clears throat> okay, next up is this awesome basket. Wood handle. I'm going to pull these out so you can get the full amazingness. This is heavy duty. Um, I don't know if this is old or not. I would say no. Um, the handle says made in India. But it's just a really nice weight, a really nice size. You can throw some blank, a blanket in there curled up, you know, rolled all up. It'd be super cute. That I want to say the baskets were $4.99. Yeah, both of them were $4.99 each. This next item, I bought three of these. They were in the boxes here. And I don't know what I'm gonna use them for. And I'm gonna need to construct something to hold these. But they have like brown craft paper rolls on metal. And I didn't see anything that would hold them there. There's a hole here and a hole here. But I'm thinking if I find something that can hold on each side of that paper so it can roll off of there. Be super cute to figure. I'll figure something out. But I bought three rolls of this. They were $2.99 each. And I just thought they were, there's just some potential there. If nothing else, to use it for the, the craft paper is pretty cool. But yeah, three of them. There was an original price tag on these that they kind of ripped off that were $14.99. Um, this is only note roll eight inch. Again, I have no idea what they originally went with or came with. I found one of these, a butcher block. Uh, this is much bigger than the last one I found. This was $6.99. Um, on these, I do sand them down to even out all of the cutting marks. And then I will re-oil it with like a hemp oil. But it can also be used for a riser. And that's how I, I think the last one I just put in the store as is. And... And then, you can see my nice hairline there, guys. Um, next up is this mirror. It's pretty heavy. It, it was 
and uh, this will get painted. It's got some great detail on it. And the color isn't terrible, to be honest, but I am going to paint that and distress that and make it all amazingness. And then along the lines of that other basket is this one. The handle is pretty much the same. So I am assuming whoever donated the other one donated this one too. Um, I don't know. I really love both of these baskets. I mean, this is like the perfect egg basket or flower or vegetable garden picking. Okay, and let me grab a few more items here. this and then grab the rest of this Ugh. um also not pictured was a find on facebook marketplace that katie picked up for me after work one day um and it was a metal like insert for a toolbox like a galvanized and it has a bunch of canning jars i think there's eight or ten i'll post a picture of that up above too um, I will most likely put something using my Cricut, put something on the side of that and then put greenery or something in the jars. These were for, you know, three of them. So they're three different sizes, six ninety nine, five ninety nine, four ninety nine, And this is glass in the middle. And one of these does have some breakage this around a cat that's trying to be nosy right now I think it's this one yeah this one definitely has some breakage on it these are going to be painted all one color um, and then uh, most likely do an undercoat of black on these and then paint over that black and distress back to the straight black which also um, actually these are not glass maybe they're just a resin I don't know but Doing that paint over the cracking on here will actually help make it stronger. So we'll get those all painted. And then three more things. I told you guys, this was a big one. We're at 22 minutes already. I don't know if this is just for a plant or what, but I liked the color. It was $3.99. And I figure I can figure out something to put in there to stitch it up and make it look cute. Then we have this olive basket. This was $2.99. Um, it does have a bit of a ding on the bottom. This looks to be a Target um, $5, like the bullseye spot, um, a Target one, according to that. But I like the handles and they're really in. I may do some, like create more rust on here to make it look even older than that. And then last, I think last but not least, are some bookends. And just some floor de lis I hate, hate, hate that Goodwill feels the need to price these separately. They're obviously a set. Um, it would have been nice to pay like $6.99 for the pair instead of $4.99 each. But I paid it because they actually sell super well. Their um, floor de lis sell pretty well too, so they're you know an okay thing to flip for me. Um, we'll get these painted up and distressed back, and I think that's everything. What are you looking forward to seeing me flip the most? What was the thing you liked the most? And that is my cat deciding that he needs to be helpful. Come here, buddy. I'm trying to grab him for you all. This is Larry. Oh, I know. Here's my Larry boy. Hmm. He likes to be in whatever I'm doing. So um, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And as I've been sitting here sick, I've been working on a few things that I'm going to film another video for and explain some of that and go over it with my goals and some updates for the new year. Uh, again, please like, subscribe, share with all your friends, and we'll see you next time. Bye.